I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos and posting excellent question. Here is a question from one of my subscribers who wants to understand how to find possible number of local maximum or minimum for a polynomial function. You should remember that local maximum or minimum occurs only at turning points, right? So you need to figure out maximum or, or minimum points. Let's call it local, right? Since all the polynomials extend from infinity to other infinity. So whatever we have, we have local maximum and minimum. Now these are at turning points. So basically, we have to find how many turning points can a polynomial have, right? So, so basically the question is, how many possible turning points can a polynomial have? Now to answer this question, I'll divide the set of polynomials into two categories. One, having odd degree, so let's say where degree is odd. And the other one, where the degree of polynomial n is even. Mainly because these polynomials will have different characteristics, correct? Let me make a sketch to explain. So we'll try to sketch even degree and odd degree polynomials and understand the concept. For an odd degree polynomial, it could it has to go diagonally, right? So in that case, it could go without even turning. Since it doesn't turn, we could say that the minimum number is zero. So we can say that minimum turning points, let's say TP, is zero. That means it could have no maxima, I mean local, or local minima. So that is minimum, correct? On the other hand, for even degree polynomial, it has to go from adjacent quadrants, right? Either from 2 to 1 or from 3 to 4, depending on leading coefficient, right? So if I say leading coefficient is greater than 0, that means positive, then the graph could be kind of like this. So there is at least one local maximum or minimum. So we have at least one local maxima or minimum, correct? Now, let's look into possible numbers. To get the possible numbers, if n is higher degree, then to go from quadrant 3 to 1, the polynomial may turn even number of times, right? So, not once, but twice, or four times, or six times or so on depending on n correct so so what you see here is that it could have even number of turning points so that is important to understand so it'll have even number of turning points let me write tp or we can say 
maximum minimum combined is it okay the local maximum minimum even numbers and what could be the maximum number maximum number of turning points is n minus 1 maximum number equals to n minus 1 so if n is 7 for example we could have maximum 6 local maximum and local minimum correct half of them will be maximum half of them will be minimum another important thing to note here is that number of local maximum will be equal to local minimums number of right so their numbers will also be same number of local maximum and minimum will be exactly same you see that part now let's get to the even degree function right so there you have to go from adjacent coordinates so you have to turn so if i have a figure kind of like this let's say so what you notice here is that we have in this particular case one two three local maximum so these are your local maximum i should say minimum sorry so so the local minimums are these on the other hand we have local maximum at these two points you can see that if leading coefficient is positive in that case number of local minimums is one higher than local of than the number of local maximums correct here also you will notice one thing that total number of turning points and also maximum plus minimum will be equal to n minus 1 it will be odd number right it will be odd number n minus 1 so at least it will have one local maximum minimum or it could have 1 3 5 up to n minus 1 so that becomes kind of series where where n is degree of polynomial as you can see here right so i hope that helps you to understand how to find total number of maximum local maximum and local minimums so all these points are local maximum and minimum since you see that the function extends from one infinity to other in the case of even degree polynomials there is a possibility to have absolute maximum or minimum there is right so so there is possibility i mean so here we can write here we can have possible absolute maximum or minimum depending on of course the leading coefficient is it okay so that is how we could summarize number of local maximum minimum for degree of polynomials i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best